Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to be ready with your literature review part. Okay, so this is the uh, second chapter. Almost it will be either a second chapter or a third chapter in your thesis. And this will be useful whenever you are writing any article. Okay, so like uh, an article or a paper which you want to submit it for an Scopus or IEEE or SEI or any conferences. Okay. So if you are writing a paper, so this will be your uh, second part. First part will be your introduction. Second part will be your literature review or review of literature. So you should be very, very ready with all these things whenever you are reading any paper. Okay. So you are reading a previously published research article. You should log the activity. So if you log that activity, then it will you can use it anytime okay so i'm going to show you the format of how to logging it so this is my gmail with that gmail you can just go to sheets okay so it is always better to log these activities and uh, have an organized folder in your g drive specifically for your research because you know sometimes our uh, system suddenly if goes crashing or if sometimes may happen um, your data might be lost okay you cannot easily we cannot always assure our data will be will be there always in our hard disk okay it is better to log your activity so i'm going to create a literature review okay so uh, in another video i'll show you how to organize all your day your uh, research related data fine so this is i'm just uh, showing for literature review so whenever you read any any paper any article okay that article you have to summarize it here always keep the sheet open when you are uh, reading an article or uh, reviewing an article okay so this is so this is the first one serial number so have this and second one is type so type in which you have to uh, create like okay go to data click data validation and click list of items so research okay research type of paper or survey paper you are going to you are reading okay which type of data you are reading so that is type okay and the third one is abstract okay i'll tell you what you have to do right abstract and fourth one is reference okay reference is the citation how you have to cite it okay so reference in mla most probably uh, in most of the um, conference or a journal they'll be asking for an mla part or else you can also do it with apa okay so you can just have these two references okay so this is the first uh, thing which you have to do so the first one is one okay and the type is whether you are going with a research or survey so in a pre in, in another video i have showed you that how to read an article within 10 minutes and have some insight into the article so i'm just going to fetch it from that article it's a research article okay and abstract what you can do is you can have the abstract like whatever the abstract you are reading in that article, that abstract you have to rephrase. Okay. So this is the rephrased abstract of that article. Fine. So that article I have rephrased it. And what you can do is you can just have it here. Fine. So if you want, you can just make it. I'm just trying to do with um, text wrapping. Okay, wrap the text. You can wrap the text. Fine, this is about abstract. So, this is what, see, in that paper, the abstract was written, what was written. So, that abstract, I have rephrased it in my own words. Okay, I have rephrased it and I am trying to write it. Uh, I have written in my own words. Fine. Now you want to get the MLA style. Okay. So how you can do it? You have to copy that paper name. That is a article name in the Google Scholar. Go to Google Scholar. Type that. And
okay so this is what the article which i have seen and in that i have rephrased the abstract so here you can see that this is what site okay click that site you can see various uh, format click here mla copy and paste it here okay and make it text trap okay and the second one is go back and copy the APA style and paste it here okay so likewise so whenever you are reading any article okay whenever you are reading any article what you have to do is you have to log it if I need or I want to change it to a research I am reading a research article then make it as a research or else if you are reading a survey article then type it as a survey so whenever you are reading an abstract of that particular paper for example i'm just giving survey on data mining in healthcare okay so basically we will be uh, if you are into a survey paper like you, are, you wanted to do um, data mining in healthcare then probably we'll be going to uh, learn about the basic survey okay we'll be reviewing the basic survey paper okay so you have this this is the abstract so abstract you just read the abstract okay so read that abstract and uh, just to see as i told in the survey you have to only consider that what has been covered in that paper okay so um, here suggested guidelines what are all the guidelines which they have suggested here and uh, given the successful application of the data mining related and as a discussion of a technology so these are all the things which they have uh, highlighted then what you have to do is the specific paragraph which you which you really require you just have to rework on it okay you have to read it and then you just convert it in your own words and you can proceed with that okay so like here if i if you just take with as a discussion a discussion of the technologies available to enable the prediction okay so that you can simply rephrase and once you have rephrased it you can you can paste it here okay this is what your uh, um okay you can simply paste it and then go to the uh, style citation style okay citation style click that and copy this mla paste it okay and then copy the api paste it okay you may ask me a question like why should i do it like this okay see for every research you have to read at least 50 to 100 literature reviews okay you have to include as the references and also you have to include in your literature review okay what happens we'll be writing it whenever we are publishing a paper like on the spot we'll be typing and writing everything but if you're uh, if you're started to write your thesis okay and then again you have to go and revisit all the papers and write it so here what happens you are creating a log book okay this is like a log okay where you are rephrasing in the same time you are rephrasing all the materials which you have read and you are uh, writing it here which is ready for all your needs okay and also here you can show like status for example if we have used this lit this as a literature review okay if we have included this as a literature review and this in the reference then probably you can write here status like used for the conference paper so that you will not be using this for the another uh, paper if you wish to publish okay an article if you wish to publish in somewhere else okay and like that here also you can write so anyhow you are supposed to create at least 50 to 100 uh, research paper you have to read and you have to rephrase it once if you logged it right 
so you can easily understand what are the things which you have used and these things you can simply copy okay if you have read if you are ready with a if you are ready with 100 uh, research papers you can simply copy and paste it in your uh, document in your thesis for chapter 2 that is a literature review chapter it will be very very easy okay so this is one of the idea if you really find this useful please share this and also if you need this template just drop me a message in the comment box i'll be sharing the link a template link where you can make use of it thank you